All right, hey guys, here we are. Poll number six here. Taking a look at this. Ooh, that's an interesting wind. It's a little into the face. It does make this just a little bit tougher. You'll probably want to max out as much as you can power-wise here. You may even want to think about Cataclysm just to have that extra range for your second shot. But this first shot is going to be hard enough. That looks like an underplay a little bit. Not even trying to counter it with wind effect or anything. Well, it probably doesn't have side spin. That great ball probably helped a little bit. So it's going to center it up a little. Let's see how this runs out. Looks pretty good. So when you get it up that far, you probably can go sniper. Um, but it really requires you to get it up that far. So again here, you know, maybe royal ball just for the extra the extra range here and you know I'm thinking you know wind effect should help to essentially get this right enough so you'll have to consider wind effect I'm thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of almost 9 10 rings here so right around nine rings perfect ball <clears throat> looks like mine was maybe a little bit light but as I mentioned you know I was kind of gonna let that wind effect you know when I can see the ball guide um, you know well off to the left I know that it probably is gonna stay out of that sand because I didn't get too aggressive with that ball line so even being a little bit light on the ring adjustment probably by about a ring um, still okay there. Now, I did bring the sniper because I could see where I could get the second shot up to. So, but in the event, you know, especially if you're, you know, a POC 4, POC 5, uh, you don't have quite the top spin, maybe even a little bit less distance, you'll probably want to make sure that you have Cataclysm on. Now again here, um, one of the main things we're going to want to be worrying about here is wind effect to make this shot. It's very tough to play. That looks pretty good overall. It's a very good attempt. Um, one of the things that might come into play is your ring adjustment may go into those trees. So definitely something that you have to be thinking about. What I'll typically try to do is maybe just a little bit of top spin, thinking somewhere along the lines of here. And it looks like my wind effect here may be just a tad bit light. But you can see where I'm aiming, kind of at the top of this sh shadow here. There's a shadow right there, so you can kind of use it as a reference. Now, let's see what we look like when we move 12, 12 ish rings, because that's what the shot's going to call for. Looks like the tree's not in the way. And that's probably about 12-ish rings, more or less. It's just a little bit less than one per. And of course, great ball. So let's just see how this looks. Good so far. So with that great ball, it's kind of like 13 rings. But you can see, you know, I had the ball guide kind of off to the left a little bit. And then after playing, it actually winds up on the right. It's wind effect pushing that. Um, but I know that, you know, you always kind of land to an uphill target. So I've always kind of just gone one per on that. Um, and it's pretty spot on. Um, the only thing that I need to try to get is that ball guide. Get that ball guide exactly where we want. Because you can see I missed just a little bit light. So we'll have to just try to, you know, maneuver that ball guide to the exact spot. So you can see I put maybe like four-ish bars of right spin um, or whatever. And you'll probably want to just try to dial that down. Maybe get it to the three-ish and just see how that works. And that's how you'll want to do that. So good luck um, with that one. And I'll see you guys on the next one.